Hello there everyone, and unfortunately welcome to some more uh, dishwasher <laughs> catch up. Um, <clears throat> now, this game right here, I am not actually entirely new to. But maybe we can just roll the intro, I think it's maybe a bit loud. You know, first time, I will have to say that this is a pretty solid opening. So, yeah, this game, I'm calling it Blazing Heroes, but I think it actually has, has a grand total of three names. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> right, uh, Blazing Heroes is one of the names, of course. Oh, wow, this is super loud. Game, you're chilling now? Okay, good. <laughs> so, yeah. This game uh, kind of ran afoul of, I think, Wizards of the Coast, uh, Dungeons and Dragons team. Um, because apparently we start. Oh, no, oh shit. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> long story short, Uh, let's just start a new game then. Uh, yeah, the Dungeons and Dragons guys did not <clears throat> allow them to use the name Mystaria for this game. So, it had to be recalled. And can we just turn the volume down a little bit? Thank you. <clears throat> so, this game was then uh, re-released under the name Blazing Heroes. Um, but I wonder if it wasn't at some point also known as Riglord Saga 1. Either way, this is supposed to be a sequel to Riglord Saga 2, which is another game I've, well, explored uh, on this playlist. Oh, wow, this is really loud. I'm glad I turned on the volume. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, in terms of the, the graphics, fidelity, this game is um, not a looker, <laughs> uh, which is true for most Saturn games, but I think if you compare this to, say, uh, Shining Force 3, I think we can agree that even among Saturn games, this is um, uh, not super. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, skip past this or something until we... Oh, I didn't do that. Uh, let's just accept the default names and uh, move on with our lives, shall we? Um, that's how you progress, right? Yeah, just press B instead of C, because... things.
So basically, if you watched uh, my regular Saga 2 video, this is basically that, except uh, more primitive looking. <clears throat> and uh, possibly... Uh, yeah, less primitive, uh, more primitively coded as well, and uh, primitive design. Bloody blah. -blah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, speak with our swords, says the wizard, who doesn't have a freaking sword. Like I said, I did try this before on an emulator, uh, whistle innocently, um, and uh, I kind of liked it. It's, uh, I mean, it plays a lot better than it looks. Let's just leave it at that. Mm. But this is another game I intend to finish. Maybe not make a let's play out of, but oh yeah. And uh, there's a hint of what is to come after this. I don't know if I will crop the video, making the uh, uh, notice there unreadable. But yeah. Next up is something possibly completely different. I, well, honest, I honestly don't know a whole lot about these games. <laughs> I just looked them up at the reproduction site and just, hey, looked interesting, give me. So yeah, let's get into the game, shall we? And uh, oh wait, no, 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 right? That that's how you do things in this game, uh, <laughs> or something. No. Say no. No, that's not the button. What button? Do I... Ah, whatever. I think there's a button you can push that uh, switches to the next uh, character in line in, <clears throat> in some kind of turn order. Uh, but I genuinely have no idea what's going on. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I did try just to see if the game uh, well, would first of all load and uh, whether this was what I thought it would be, which it was. Um, and uh, this fight is uh, less challenging than the first fight in Shining Force 2, even the first fight in Shining Force 1. For the simple reason that it ends with plot development. Up until that point, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, yada yada yada, hellfire. Burn, baby, burn. I will turn off the microphone for this. And uh, by the way, can we appreciate just how very 90s that loading screen is? <laughs> uh, it's actually charming. So yeah, that was the first fight. Just move a bit, move a bit ahead, and then we are chucked into another fight. It's like this is. Uh... <laughs> Like a high paced <laughs> strategy RPG or tactical RPG, I don't know. 
the distinction is a bit vague to me. Okay, so we just randomly get an enemy convert. I mean, uh, I'm good with ninjas. I watched, uh, or no, I didn't watch Stars actually very much. We didn't have that for two, but I did really read really the comics. That's a lot of enemies though. Okay, move north, out our way through. Let's just scout ahead a little. Okay, so I assume we will need to make our way here somehow. And uh, that's probably not the way forward. Roger that. Can I move you instantly? Yes, I can. I think I will. And thank you very much, dishwasher. Uh, attack um, I uh, I want to drop a pun tell me that's punch right okay that was indeed a punch uh, does your arrow shot go anywhere uh, no shit Hold you back a little. And I can defend. It's good. Ninja dude. Uh, you can throw something, right? Uh, throw stuff. Throw star. Okay. We can hop up here. Oh, hey! Is that a fireball? Uh, not very useful here, though. Do strike. Um... Oh, wait, you're gonna mess me up, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. I don't think the Polymega controller is very good for playing Saturn games. I'm not gonna lie. 